back to my channel welcome if you're new make sure you hit that subscribe button and let's just get right into this video so today we don't have anything that we're trying today we're just going to be using some simple stuff some model ones gel polishes and this mccart nude poly gel and we're going to be doing some french tips but instead of doing the regular french tip i always do i'm going to be painting on the french tip which is something i've never done we're gonna see how this goes let's just get right into this nail set oh here are my sister's natural nails they are also looking crusty this is also a continuation from this nail set that we did in the last video so yeah it's kind of part two her other hand look how cute if you haven't watched this video go watch it because it was a really fun vid we told creepy reddit stories and it was a long one in this video we're also going to be telling some creepy reddit stories so the first thing we're going to be doing is pushing back the cuticles all right now i'm going to take my cuticle scissors and cut off this excess dead skin and now i'm going to be taking my fine grit sanding man and i'm just going to remove the shine from these nails Now I'm going to take my nail clippers and I'm just going to cut down the growth of these nails. And now I'm going to take my hand file and smooth out the free edge. Alright, now I'm just going to clean off the nails with some isopropyl alcohol. Now I'm going to be using these extra long nail tips. Now that I got the tip sized out, I'm just going to take my KDS glue and glue on all these nail tips. After I got all the nail tips glued on, I'm going to take my tip cutters and cut down these nails. Alright, now that I got the nail tips cut down, I'm going to reshape them. I'm going to take my fine grit sanding band and remove the shine from these nail tips. Next, I'm going to be cleaning off the nails with some isopropyl alcohol. Next, I'm going in with some Young Nails Primer, and I'm going to put two layers of primer on each of the nails. Now, I'm going to go in with some base coat, and I'm going to be putting a layer of base coat. Alright, so now that I got the base coat on all the nails, I'm going to be taking this nude poly gel. This is from the Mermaid Couture poly gel kit, and I'm just going to be putting poly gel on the nail just have just this is my nail cure <laughs> done Whoa. you got a big bobby bump <laughs> should i continue the story hi okay. it's me spice um sorry for that cliffhanger i don't know if you want to call it a cliffhanger from the last story we're gonna finish the story now and this story is called the match it's on reddit no sleep and basically it's about this guy who thought or girl, I don't know, I think it's a guy because they were like, yeah. It's a guy who thought they were being burglared, <laughs> being robbed. robbed, and getting tied in the middle of the night, getting tied up, blindfolded, and um, and then turns out that it's like a mental game. So when they got unblindfolded, it was themselves, and then they're like, wait, they're playing this chess match and i didn't continue we're at the part where they're just about to start playing the match where he realized that it's himself and it's a mind he's in his mind and like this is all made up like in reality he's not in pain he's not tied up but wherever he is in his mind he is so he's about to begin this match so i'm just gonna pick up where i left off right there i did the only thing that made sense now the only thing that i could do from the very beginning i played the match the game went quickly faster than any game that I have ever played. It was the only choice. It was my only hope of sur 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 <laughs> What the heck? It was my only hope for survival. He was good. I was rusty, but I only lost two pawns to him before I was confident. He knew what moves I would make. I had already seen proof of that, but that changed things. The first time he moved the first piece for me, I didn't know that he knew my moves. Once I became privy to the knowledge that he was only aware of exactly what i would do before i even did it this allowed me to process that and change my methods entirely which is something he knew as well which means yes technically he knew every move that i was going to make because whatever he was he was somehow me that left one disadvantage though that means i knew what moves he would make 
But if I no longer knew which moves I was going to make and simply re reacted, that placed us on equal footing. He would have no choice but to follow suit. We were one and the same, both completely aware what the other would do because it's exactly what the other would have. So I removed the thought process. I no longer planned. I removed the element of reasoning. My individuality, my strategy, every single thing that made me play how I played, gone, which left one option, survival, checkmate. He placed his king down and smiled at me. It wasn't my smile. It must have been no longer than 90 seconds or so, but it felt like an eternity. My palms were sweaty. My knees were weak. My arms were heavy. I was exhausted. Tears of frustration, of fear, of anger slid down my cheeks as I looked back into the eyes that were not mine. The blue lights in his eyes were now a deep purple. They moved in slow circles. I gazed directly into them, transfixed by the color. They frightened me. He spoke. Well played. We'll be seeing you real soon. I woke up on the chair. That was two weeks ago and I haven't slept even remotely properly since. I will pass out from exhaustion in a few days, but I always have the same nightmare. I see his face, my face, the purple light spinning in his eyes. Then I hear the sound of a chess piece falling against the board and he always says the same thing right before I wake up. Get you next time. Interesting. So that's all in his head? Yeah, but it sounds like it could be like like aliens, you know? Mm -hmm. I mean, like an outer, not aliens, but like something that has a lot of technology that like can take over, like just implant themselves in your mind to mm -hmm. see like what you're made of and then probably recruit you. What did the comments say? Nothing. So guys, if you haven't watched the last video, we've been, we read a creepy Reddit story and it was about this girl who's living alone in her apartment and she found the secret hidden room in her office closet and she's like, what the heck is this? She investigates it and finds that someone's living there. Like she sees napkins, pizza boxes, you know recently there and then the worst part is that they had pictures of her so they've been watching her not just living in her house but taking pictures of her and watching her yeah like they have pictures of her sleeping you know right in front of mm -hmm. her face that's creepy so then she tried to call the police but they didn't really do anything because the guy wasn't the person wasn't in her house at the time and so the, they couldn't really do anything yeah the police are like who do you want us to arrest nobody it's like ah, ah, hey yeah and the last post we read the ending was that she called her dad and her dad tried to send her a secret message through morse code and it basically told her to run and that's where we left off yeah and then they updated eight hours ago so um i'm gonna read it now part three of i found a secret room in my house i found a secret room in my house after seeing what's inside i'll never sleep again have you ever felt time turn sideways that's what happened when i realized my father had been telling me to run from my home my grandmother's desk clock ticked softly little doodles my stuffed dog gave me an unbroken gaze Everything looked peaceful, but a hurricane was tearing its way through my head. Each second felt too fast. I was frozen in place and horrified that an all-out sprint would be insufficient. I stared at the clock. How could it have the audacity be so calm? A door creaked behind me and I was flying. I grabbed my cell phone, plucked doodles from the bed, grabbed the Louisville slugger, and threw on my slippers. Assuming that I had no time to change out of my pajamas, I ran for the front door as the hinge continued to squeak, using the moonlight to dodge the furniture in my living room. As wait, I was wait, unsure. Wait. So wait, what, what timeline are we on? Is, she, is it at night? Mm. She. We just left off that she called the dad. Wasn't that in the day? Mm. Or is this later? I think this is later. Okay. Later at night. I think, like, you know, it was the day, but now it's nighttime. Okay. And she can't sleep. I had no time to change out of my pajamas. I ran for the front door as the hinge continued to squeak, using the moonlight to dodge the furniture in my living room, as I was sure, was I, that a man moaned behind me. Ew. <gasps> I fumbled with the doorknob, pulled it, hit resistance, whimpered, closed it, carefully slid on, carefully slid open the chain lock with shaky fingers, fought an uncooperative deadbolt, opened the door successfully and ran into the night. Then I got to the sidewalk and stopped. What the heck happens next? So the man was in her house. We don't know yet. 
Okay. She said it could. She said oh. I wasn't sure. Okay, okay. <clears throat> if it sounded like a moan behind me, like, ew. I took stock of the situation. It was the middle of the night as I stood on an empty, quiet street and shivered. I had no car, no money, no friends in town, and I had left my wallet inside. Ugh. Oh gosh. I must have looked quite the sight. The pink silk long sleeved pajamas provided a minimal intimidation or protection. My slippers, which were oversized fluffy comfort novelties shaped in shaped like stuffed sloths, were meant for out weren't meant for outdoor use or adults in general. I held doodles in one hand and the Louisville slugger in the other. She grabbed her stuffed pet dog, but didn't grab her wallet. You got big me. <laughs> Some moments exit only to remind us that we don't have our stuff together and that fate thinks it's just funny as heck. As I stood there with my stuffy slippers and baseball bat wondering what to do next, I realized that I was in such a moment. My head spun. Should I call my dad back? No, he was clearly not free to talk. If I did anything to indicate that I heard his Morse code message, the person silencing him might... Oh, okay. Um, so the, she thinks someone's there with her parents. Or I'm, maybe someone actually listening to the calls. Yeah. I didn't want to think about it. I told myself that mom and dad were perfectly fine and that no one was hiding in the dark waiting to kill them. I told myself the same message. The same concept was too absurd. There was no way that someone could be hurting my parents to get me. Right? But why hadn't dad just told me? He'd die for me if he had to. Faint electric chills ran along my back as I realized that he must have believed I was in immediate danger. He wouldn't hide the truth to, to protect himself, but he would do it for my sake. I was sure of it. I looked up at my home. The house glared back at me, its door open, inviting me back inside. I was just the right size for its sudden appetite. I hadn't left any lights on. The empty house felt so alone. Then one light flickered on in the top floor. My chest froze in terror. Wait, in her house? Mm -hmm. She's outside looking in her house. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. The empty house felt so alone. I pulled out my phone. My thumb shook too much as I hit, as I tried to make the call. I hit 912-941-1913. Do you know I have dreams about like me trying to call the police? You know how you have to open the call app mm -hmm. and dial the numbers, right? Mm -hmm. I can't get to it quick enough. I'm like, where am I going? Am I going to my favorites list? No. Oh my oh, god. No, no, it's really bad. It's really it's intense in my dream. Oh my god. <laughs> I hit 912-941-1913 and several other failed attempts before finally calming myself enough to get through. 911, what is the nature of your emergency? Um, there's a man in my house. You sent an officer to check it a few days ago, and now I think he's back. Okay, I'm relaying that information now. What's your name and address? I gave it to him and waited, staring at the light. The night was cold. I didn't move. I didn't want to be there, but had nowhere to go. Olivia, you said that an officer came out to meet you last week? Yes. I answered barely, able to control my own voice. Yes, um, he said to reach out to you guys if he came back, and well, he's here. Two seconds of silence dripped down my mind like a dolly clock. Are you in a safe location? I focused on my breathing. Yes, I mean, I, uh, well, I guess I don't know. I might not be. The tears began. Olivia, I need you to listen to me. Where are you now? I breathed out slowly. I'm standing outside my house. I'm afraid to go back in. My dad. What day did you say the officer came by? What did he talk to you about? My neck burned in frustration. I, I don't know. It was last week sometime. I also answered a lot of questions that I didn't. Look, I'm not really taking this well and just want to know what- I'm sorry, Olivia, but this is really important and we're dealing with everything the best that we can. An officer is on their way right now to meet you, but you need to listen to me very carefully, okay? I tried to calm myself by gripping the bat tighter. Okay, I breathed. That's, we didn't send an officer to meet you last week. My thoughts grounded to a halt as I tried to make sense of the senselessness. Wait, continue. I, what? No, we talked for, I've been checking the records through and through. No officer responded to your residence at any point in the past six months. And there is no indication that a, that a call from this phone ever came in our database. The burn in my neck pushed through the hair. No, that doesn't make any sense. Look, I promise you that I, I hear what you're saying, which is why I have been checking the entire time. You're not gonna like this. I'm sure of it. No, no officer came to your house last week. The heat of, 
The heat moved into my eyes as tears poured freely. I don't understand. What are you saying? What I'm saying, Olivia, he explained while chilling calm, is that if a man did come into your home last week, I can promise you that he was not a real police officer. End. The post no. is ended. We have to wait for them to update again. He wasn't really a police. No, no. wonder he was such a jerk. Well, now we have to wait for them to update. Yeah, well, that's the end of the, the post for right now. We have to wait for the next update. But one of the comments said, the chilling calm was very much not calm. Not to me. How do you even know if you're talking to a real 911 operator right, right? now? Right, because didn't they, <coughs> did, she called 911. <coughs> I have no idea. And then another person under their comment said, my thoughts exactly. She needs to find someone else's phone, a neighbor or something. I wouldn't trust anything coming through that cell phone anymore. Someone else said, I'm not sure I'd trust anyone around town. This surely can't be the first occurrence. <coughs> that is really mm -mm, creepy because it's like you don't you feel helpless. You can't talk to your parents. You can't trust 911. Yep. I thought I read one comment that was like, how did the dad know to tell her to run? Like, how did they, you know what I mean? It kind of made sense because it, it seems like he knows either someone's <laughs> listening. So yeah. he's either in danger or she's in danger. Yeah. Or they might have someone at their house mm -hmm. too. Well, anyway, we have to wait for it to update. Okay. Man, who's in her house and why? And who was that police officer that wasn't really a police? I bet it's that man staying in her house. You think? Yeah, I bet but so. I don't understand how she called 911 and it wasn't, they don't have any record of that. <clears throat> Maybe the same way that the dad gave a morse code thinking that someone on the other end is like mm -hmm. listening. Maybe he manipulated the phone Yeah. so that when Perhaps. she called, it ended the call, but he was still on the line with her and was like, hi, Nyla mm -hmm. So maybe something like that. Can I be your background? Imagine. <laughs> Number five. <laughs> what is it for haunted cursed images? Haunted cursed images. Can y'all send what you think is your guys' right, cursed I images? Did. What, what Go it? look in the group chat. <laughs> Can you rate it? What do you think this is? I'll give it a three. <laughs> Top Number three. Maybe a four. No. I would give it a seven. This is the okay. Real image. It's, it's not, not that cursed. cursed. It's pretty cute. No, but nope, just have this in my memories. Is that? <laughs> just show them. This. Show them what that. You're still recording. Yes, I'm doing the thumb. Oh, this is what. It... Um, look what she just came across in her memory. <laughs> Did I do this? No, I don't <laughs> think so. Uh, I don't think. Wait, did you do this? No, no I, don't think I so. did not do that. Um, yeah, before I did nails, Spice did her own nails. Good I, start. I need more practice. Mm. Top ten cursed images. Number ten. <laughs> La ganja de tomatoes. <laughs> <laughs> Number eight. You ready? Triple chins with mandarins oh, on a yeah. stick. Oh, triple Toes on squatty This you? This you man? This is my band. All right, now that the poly gel is all applied, I'm just gonna get reshaping. I just got my McCart dust collector and my hand file, and yeah, we're just gonna reshape these nails. Hey guys, so this is the voiceover now, and yeah, I'm basically just reshaping these nails. Sorry this video has been a long time waiting. I know you guys have probably been waiting for a video for a while now, like it's been a week, two weeks, I think. Yeah, I have a lot of videos that are filmed, I just need to edit them. And you know, editing is my issue, so I'm working on them. Yeah, so I'm hoping to get one up 
tomorrow like right after this video or the next day i'm gonna be working on these videos because i have a lot filmed and i'm running out of storage on my phone and on my computer so i need to get them uploaded we didn't really try product in this video but um i think this pink color is really cute from this mccart um mermaid couture kit and my sister really liked this color like these are one of those sets where it's just like i wish i could just shape them put top coat on them and be done and leave them plain because they just looked so cute like with no decoration or anything but i really like them after after I did the French tip as well. And if my voice sounds a little scratchy, it's because I just woke up like always. <laughs> Now I'm gonna take some isopropyl alcohol and I'm just gonna clean off all this dust on the nails. All right, now that the nails are shaped and filed and looking really good, um, we're gonna get doing the French tip. So I got the three colors here. Um, ignore the red and green for now. We're gonna be making the tip color this lemonade color. And I'm just gonna be putting a lot of that on my mixing plate um next i think i'm gonna put top coat on that way it's easy cleanup so yeah i'm gonna go in with top coat and pay top coat on these nails so that way if i mess up the french tip design i can easily clean it up or fix it okay we're done bye so i just got my yellow here and i'm just gonna be painting on the gel the french tip now Kinda nervy. Now we're gonna get started painting on the French tip. And honestly, at first, painting on the French tip was really hard because I needed a lot of practice because I never done this before. All right, now that I got the French tip seemingly looking good, I'm just gonna paint in the rest. But once I moved on to about the third nail, the ring finger, it started like getting a little bit easier. You know, I started getting the hang of it. Um, but it does take a little bit of practice, so I'm sure if like I do this method and practice this method, then making French tips like this is going to be very easy. Um, and also, if you've never done French tips like this with painting the on the French tip part, I definitely recommend. It's it's pretty fun, and if you want to work on like you know your nail art, then this is a good way to practice. And I think with more practice, it'll be a little bit easier than doing it the regular French tip way. And also gel polish just has way more colors than poly gel <laughs> one thing that i was kind of sad about was that this like nude poly gel was a little bit see-through you can kind of see where the real nail stops you know it's kind of see-through i don't really like that so yeah my sister wanted to tell more reddit stories during this part like while i'm painting on the design but i just could not like i could not paint on the design while she was talking because like i don't know why like it felt like she was moving a little bit and i was just i was like i need her to be very very still so i'm like okay i i don't think you could read anything right now so we couldn't do a reddit story during this part but definitely in my next videos like i'll be reading some because sometimes like i just don't know what to talk about and reading a reddit story is fun
So after I did the first layer of the yellow on all of the nails, I went back in and did a second layer of the yellow just to make it more opaque and like less streaky, I guess. Also, just an update, my birthday has passed. My birthday was on the 18th, March 18th. So I did do some birthday nail videos. I need to get those uploaded as soon as possible as well. All right, next things next, we're gonna take the red and green and we're gonna be painting on some cute little cherries. So I'm just gonna put some of this red right here. And also this green. These are good cherry colors. Mm -hmm, that's actually, them together really balance each other out. That's a cherry, all right. Is that a cherry? So now I'm moving on to the cherry nail art and I love simple nail art like this. It's just so much fun to do because it's simple and easy and looks cute in the end. So yeah, if you want to do some simple nail art, I definitely recommend like doing this cherry nail art or any like other simple nail arts, like simple fruit nail arts. Like I'm sure there's other fruits that you can make that are as easy to do. And my older sister said this is probably her favorite nail set she's ever gotten, which is crazy. So after I'm done with the cherries, I went in with that sparkly red gel polish and put like a layer of that on some of the cherries just to give it some contrast and some sparkle. so I can Let's eat check. my six percent we got this all right now that the nail art is finished I'm just gonna top coat and finish this look
all right so i got these mccart cuticle sticks and we're gonna be using cherry because it's fitting Yeah, I'm just going to be putting cuticle oil on all these nails. And here are how the nails turned out. Let me know what you guys think of this nail set in the comments. I definitely think they're really cute. I do need a little more practice with the French tip making because I definitely could have made them a little more like narrow, I guess. I don't really know how to describe it. But yeah, I just need a little more practice with the French tip painting on the gel polish. And um other than that like i really love this nail set i think it is so cute that's pretty much it for this video i hope you guys enjoyed those reddit stories they were kind of a continuation from the last video which was the sweet cravings mccart video i did stories were like a continuation from that video so so definitely watch the last video if you haven't and yeah i'll definitely add more creepy reddit stories or some true crime stories because you guys have been wanting it in the comments so yeah i'll definitely add more of those in my next videos and that's pretty much it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. I'm going to try and edit all these videos that I have filmed. Yeah, so that's it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe. And I will talk to you all next time.